welcome I'm UK Gamer 808 and today we are looking at FS19 new mods so we have Monday and we have some new mods for Farming Simulator 19 so can't be bad let's go and see what's in the mod hub update so what have we got today we have Elabat now that is a update scroll on down and it's changelog 1.2 Animal fence fixed, fixed collisions, snow roof fixed. And then we have three point forklift by RL Modding. Three point forklift for transporting bales and pallets. Now that's pretty cool, a bit of kit that is. That's a top mod. And then we have the Bremer FG300 by Apollo 5090R. And that's a, it's a little one, isn't it? Yeah, three meters, 100 horsepower needed. And then we have a new baler, the Galing, what's that? Galig Nanny 9250SL by Pepe978, rain baler from the Quinlan group, produces 1.2 to 1.8 bales. Ah, so they're a bit bigger than 4,000 and 5,000 capacity. Cool. And then we have a K pasture by Richie F. And this cow pasture is only for fattening cows. There is no manure, dung, milk, no straw sprinkling. That's nice and easy then. It's a nice decorative element away from the yard. And that is 50 grand for 100 cows. And then there's also the, what this one here is for meat cows pasture outdoors. Same thing basically. Then cows will need only water and grass. How easy is that? That makes things a lot easier. And that's by Camillo's. 0397 and then we have the Zunhammer TS 10,000 KE by Shapa Shapi Fabian Gogo Bear and G Master and what is that that is a is it a slurry two barrels or continuous stir and screw convey the manure oh it is manure spreader I think it looks like more a liquid fertilizer uh, liquid slurry but we'll have a look at that anyway. I can't be bothered to go through it all now. We go through it when we look at it. So we have a long shed, and it's a shed which is really long. By Rally Christ Christy One. This is a long placeable shed. Cool. At least you can drive in, drive out. And then we have a update. No, a new one. Season Geo North Carolina. So that doesn't look too bad. At least you can get stuff in the ground straight away. By, by Adub Modding. Do you want to experience farming in the productive soils of a large state located in the middle region of the USA? Okay. And then we have Seasons South Carolina, Carolina by Adub Modding. Is, they were the same, weren't they? Yeah, of course they were. By Adub Modding. I haven't heard of them before. Do you want to experience blah 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 for, for South Carolina? Cotton is here, main crop for, during the farming season. And then there's a Seasons California, and that's pretty similar by the looks of it. By Adub Modding, are you ready for blah blah? Yeah, but we're ready for that. And then there was an update to the old farm countryside. Now, this I'm not sure if that was all the newest one because I, I had a look at it earlier and it, I couldn't get to grips with it because I think it's no, it's just the top, isn't it? Change log 3.1. Three cops have been eliminated due to incompatibility with Seasons mod. We will only have millet, sorghum, rice and rye. Okay, so they've done away with those other extra crops we had. And we also have an update for the Wilson Pace Setter Super B, which is lit lights are revised, no more flashing. And that is the same for the A-Train one as well. And that's it for FS19 new mods today. Right then, first off, we have the three point forklift. Now this is a pretty cool bit of kit. Very easy to use, five grand to buy. Bargain, 255 pounds for your initial leasing cost. So very cheap, you can change uh, all the different colors there's 36 different colors and you can change the red and the yellow on there and it's free it doesn't cost any extra money how cool is that 
and minus two on the slot count. You need 60 horsepowers to run it. So not a lot really. And nice bit of kit. I like it. That is pretty handy bit of kit for five grand. Now there are, we have got some bale spikes on there as well. So let's put the help window on because there's a few different control groups. You can see there we've got control group lift one, control pallet port two, pallet port three. So basically the controls we've got, uh, hang on, that's the one we want. The controls we've got for it, let's get in a little bit. Let's get out of the way of that pallet in a minute. And basically you can lift it up on the button as you would normally and implement and raise it up. But you've also got the, you can move it up on the arm as well, on your joist, um, analog, sorry. And then move it forward and back, or back and forward. And that does your tilt function. Now I've had a quick go with this and it seemed to work all right actually, because uh, these are the sort of things what uh, you might have quite a few issues with it, but this one we don't. Now holding down the R1 and the right analog and that will to elevate that and it does go up a decent size can't complain about that can you and then we also go so there are your main functions of your fork lift and then you go on to next control group and then you can spin those up like that and then you go on to the next control group which is a bail forks and you go in there like that so it's a forklift and a bale spike picker upper. Pretty cool. Will it? No, it won't do that, will it? Well, I've got a baler in a minute, so we'll give that a go and make sure it picks up bales because I haven't. I've tried it on the pallets. Let's go back to the. Where are we go? Pallets. No, that's the wrong button. Pull that down and then go on the next control group. Lift that up. Jobs are good and. So we drop that one right down and it did recognize two, well not recognize it, but you can put the pallets all the way through and pick up two, well you pick up, probably pick up four with wool and didn't have any issues with it, it all worked. The one thing it is a little bit slippery on the front there, you can slide it off, but as soon as you know what you're doing with it, you can use it to your advantage. We just slam the brakes on and off it pops. Easy as that. But nice mod. Whoa, there we go. Nice use for mod. Five grand or 255 pounds on your initial losing cost. That's nothing, is it, really? If you need to um, pick her up any pallets, you can do. So that's the first FS19 mod. Then moving on, we will do, let's do the Bremer. Bremer FG300 Cultivator. Now this one will cost you, is quite cheap, 1500 pounds, 76 pounds for initial leasing cost. And it cultivates three meters wide. Now, Looking at that, that's a front cultivator, isn't it? That's not a back one, or is that running the wrong way? I don't know. I haven't tried this one like, whatsoever yet. You do need 100 horsepower to run it, and it will run a top speed of 9 mile an hour. You can have the extra discs on, and I brought out the one without the discs, stupidly, for an extra 150 quid. It's just got a couple of discs on the, on the other side here. And then you can also have the trail ball, which is these tires here, because it does have the smaller tires are quite small, and you can have the trail balls for an extra 300 quid. So let's jump in the glass. You know, I just thought, well, hang on, that is a front cultivator, isn't it? Because it's not going to work on the back. Surely not. Yeah, that's what we thought. So pretty handy bit of kit three meters wide so you can match it up with any other implements which are three meters wide any of your cedars or whatever and let's get out of the sun 
let's turn that speed right down a little bit six mile an hour would do and we'll set that worker off you can have a look at some animation going on and yep we've got some animation oh, those tires have got dirty really quick and it all seems to work no issues wouldn't expect any issues is a cultivator what can it not do cool so that's the Bremer FG 300 I'm going to drop that there and while we're here we may as well get the Zunhammer let's get that out I should have sped time up yet it's 5 o'clock in the uh, afternoon I wonder why the light was so low while the sun was so low anyhow where we gone? Here we are. Here we have the Zunhammer. TS 10,000 KE. 17,600 pounds to buy. So not a load of money. And it was 897 pounds on your initial leasing cost. With a 10 mile an hour work speed. I think it's 9 mile an hour. We'll check that out in a minute. And it has a 10 meter spread. So when I first seen this, for some stupid reason, I thought it was a manure spreader. I don't know why. I'll try to read and look at the same time instead of just reading it and finding out. No, it's a slurry spreader, isn't it? Come on then. Now you can have the optional tire, which has got the you've got trail balls and Michelins, and these are the trail ball wide ones, which they didn't cost you any extra money for those. So we have the spite for discharge, and I couldn't get any of that. I don't think it, any of it um, moves and what have you. Let's, let's just hook it up. I couldn't find anything on it earlier. Yeah, so we've just got... Detach. Why is it saying... De oh, yeah. Duh. Right, let's try again. Turn on slurry, tank slurry tanker. Now, I've, I've already filled it up. So we have got lighting on the back with the indicators. Yep, and then reverse lights as well. And it is a 10 meter spread. And there it goes. It didn't look like it was going down, but it is. It is going down. So speed wise, and it is 10 mile an hour. So nice little size that is, nice compact. It holds 10,000 litres of um, slurry or digestate, whatever you're using. And that was your lot for it basically. That, yep, there's nothing, no other options on there. But all these pipes and what have you, they all look pretty cool. Vol Lear. Nice job. So that is the Zunihammer. Right, we'll leave that there and we will next one we will look at is the well we're coming past the long shed. So let's have a look at the long shed. And here it is. It's a long shed. Five grand to buy. Minus four on your slot count. And you're not going to struggle getting anything in there. Oh yeah, it's pretty high up. And the nice thing is you can, well, not these ones with the, the braces on, but these ones you can drive in sideways as well. So they're pretty wide. You can see I brought the truck in just to give you an idea of how wide it is. And it's, it is pretty wide steel construction building in brown what more can we say it is a long shed looks the job looks proper job proper long shed so moving on we have a new baler now this is a gilly galley gallig nanny 9250 sl and look, you can see, it says on the side, 
and this one it's a little bit different this one because it does 4,000 litre bales and it will also do 5,000 litre bales now that's an option what you have to change in the shop so it is per um, baler so you're not going to be able to uh, change it once you buy it but surely you're always going to go for 5,000 as long as the auto loaders if you use an auto loaders recognize it because they might not at the moment now you can change the rim colors on it and they do gray orange green silver or black for an extra 280 quid and it is in the the other color you can change it was no it was just that color it's basically rims rim color and you can have the optional wide tires which i've got on there for an extra 500 pounds but it's quite compact size while well, these rain balers normally are quite compact compared to the square ones which are pretty big so where's the tractor gone so there it is hooked up and have we got lights for it yep we've got lights on the back oh yep we've got lights on the back and then indicators as well and brake lights yeah we have got brake lights and turn it on bale lower pick it of course it won't just do anything until we pick up some bales so let's go and do now this is the 5000 capacity one all right we've got a bit more growth now now i'm not sure if it's going to pick this up because i've had issues on this map with grass yeah and it's not recognizing it whatsoever now that was the grass i pulled in the in uh what i dumped out this one i've just cut so the pickup is down lower pickup Oh, that might help. I wonder if it was the lower pickup I didn't do. Yeah, it was lower pickup. That was another bit. Now, I've noticed that what I had to do then is come out of the game and load it back into the game. And this game had seasons on it. And since I've taken it off seasons, then all the grass still works exactly the same. So it won't let you cut it until the... The, the one growth basically so it was like well i was thinking it doesn't work it does work right so unloading feature where do we go turn off bail unload bail oh we didn't need to turn it off really but and I, it pops out just like that does that go back automatically no close back jobs are good at And yeah, picking that up, no problems. 5,000 litres, so these are the bigger bales. You don't really notice that much difference, really. And then again, it's, uh, it's not a huge amount more, is it? But it all works, does the job. I'll tell you what, let's have a look at that spinning up. I didn't see that down in there. We've got loads of action going on in there. And that's your lot. So that is our new baler. And we've got all the hoses. Oh, the PTO spinning around lovely there as well. I didn't notice that one. Nice job. And it was the cheapest baler we got as well. We like cheap mods, that's how they should be. 39 grand bargain. Right, next mod. And here it is, the new cow pasture. Now this is the 25,500 one, and it's minus five on your slot count. So we got our water fill up point there, and I've checked all of it out, it all works all right. To f bring them in, the dialogue trigger well, it was there. It might be because of that gate. Let's see if we can close that gate. Yeah, there's the... No, I don't. Well, that's strange. Because the animal dialogue does work. Because you can see the animals I got in there earlier. But now, it doesn't seem to work. So, I wonder if there's a glitch on that. That after you've... It won't let me jump. Why can't I jump? 
That's strange. It won't let me jump around here. Why won't it let me jump at all? No, jump has gone. Okay. So let's open the gate up. I'm trying to get on that side. See if the animal dialogue worked there. So, yeah, that's strange because that was all working. Close gate. That's it. So there is a little issue there, I think. I've got cows in and I can't get them out. You could, might be able to do it with a trader. If you pull the trader up, it'll probably recognise it, maybe. But the animal dialogue should be coming up on, the, on there, but it's not. Never mind. Right, well, we've got this little shed, this little lean-to at the side here for a little bit of storage for any equipment. Now, these, these two um, cow pastures, they're more for seasons, basically, aren't they? Because they're just for sort of meat production and what have you. If we go into the menu, and I'm on non-seasons on this map, and you see they're all working all right. Uh, we've got a reproduction rate on there. I've only put a little bit in each just to see if they worked and we didn't have any problems with it. So you are, you will produce um, more cows on non-seasons anyway, but on seasons, it's all about fattening them up. So you can do, uh, and like I was saying, they only need to take grass, grass and water, which that's pretty cool. But I haven't tried it on seasons and I'm not gonna. Let's go over to the other one let me know in the comments if anyone has any issues with this right so this one there's our fill up point just here and there's a fair old size where this one's got your 100 cows and it costs you 50 grand but this one is minus 18 on your slot count and 100 cows so your water point is just there we can see the water in there and then to, to bring them in see that's coming up with the same as well now it's coming up with i think the open gate and the animal dialogue button are they've like um one's gone over the top of each other since i've had the animals in there then the animal dialogue button is no longer there so i think that's the problem with it one's just yeah it is isn't it definitely because the closed gate so we've got a trigger on top of a trigger and that's why it's not recognizing the animal dialogue but you can put the animals in because there they are i put them in earlier now this is quite a big size fairly decent uh, pasture this one old rustic fencing running all the way around the edge and oh yeah that one was barbed wire actually i only just realized that so there you go so a little problem on those triggers, but you know, these things happen. We're not perfect, far from it. So that's it for FS19 new mods. Now, a bit disappointed again, no mods in testing update. Nothing has changed on that. I have sent four or five different messages to Giants and each time I got a response of nothing. No response whatsoever, so I can tell you what's going on. I don't know when it's going to start again. If it's going to start again, it's all a bit strange with the mods in testing. Which is why I haven't done a video, because I haven't got the information. But never mind. Right then, if you've enjoyed this episode, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you are new to the channel, why not check out one of my hundreds of other farming simulator videos. The channel's growing at a tremendous rate. Loving it at the moment is awesome. And it looks like you never know, I might be able to do this full time one day. Thanks for watching and I will see you tomorrow, hopefully with some new mods and possibly mods in testing. We shall see. Thanks for watching. Till the next time. Goodbye.